and all I see is Justin meandering down the street, no shirt on. It's about Jay. You ain't took one graduation picture, and your graduation is in 36. Mom, what you gonna do? Today I turned 24 years old. I'm not just gonna keep giving you chances. That's a waste of my time, and it's a waste of your energy. Today is my very last day of nursing school ever. That way, I'm glad you go first. Then go ahead and put me out here now. <laughs> Sometimes anxiety just isn't yours to take home with you. All right, hey y'all, and welcome to this week's vlog. Today is Saturday, November the 25th at 1.37 p.m. Um, Justin and I got back from Seattle last night, and I woke up, and I felt so sick. I don't know what it is, but, like, whenever my alarm goes off and it sets me into a panic, I feel so sick for, like, 30, 45 minutes after that. I feel like I have to... And I hate that. I don't know why that is. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff to do today. I had to come out here and film some content for a brand that I'm working with on TikTok. Um, and I'm pretty sure that video is going to be posted tomorrow because their timelines are always like super, super tight. Um, but today we're kind of doing like a Sunday reset, even though it's Saturday. Um, and our Wi-Fi in our apartment is out. Not only in our apartment, but in the whole apartment building. And so... I had to go to the leasing office, which is off-site, and so I went there, and nobody was there. Girl, if you're open, you're open. And I understand that today is the Iron Bowl, and so, you know, people think that that's a holiday. Girl, where's the Wi-Fi? You can't enjoy the Iron Bowl if you ain't got Wi-Fi to keep up, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, I need to go by the bank, pull out some money, put some money in, you know what I'm saying, do a little bit of that. Um, and then we need to really clean the house because it is in a bad way, and I will show you. All right, y'all, we're back home from running errands. The Iron Bowl is on the TV right now, and Justin has no faith that... Auburn is gonna win um, obviously I go to the University of Alabama so I feel like I should be rooting for Alabama so we'll do that just this one day um, but I or we I guess are gonna start going ahead and cleaning stuff up while I was gone Justin cleaned out the fridge and it looks ten times better and now we know like what we have what we don't have because we're also going grocery shopping later today and of course I'm gonna bring y'all along for that but I'll give you a quick overview of what the apartment looks like bed kind of made but we literally have to strip it down literally um, and then just kind of like clean up this little area I'll show you what the bathroom looks like so this is what the bathroom looks like just like very just messy because I mean of course like we literally came in last night so don't expect it to be super clean need to take the trash out need to refill the little toilet hanger thing toilet hanger toilet holder thing um need to okay need to clean out the shower adjust the shower shelves the bath the tub isn't really that dirty because we cleaned it right before we left but there's that. Um, there is laundry in all of those suitcases that we need to fix. And then there is also laundry in here. So lots going on, lots to clean, but let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start cleaning. So I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I use. Of course, what I use in my house, you do not have to use in your house, okay? You use whatever cleans your house, right? All right, so for our spray cleaner, we use the Lysol hydrogen peroxide. And then to clean all the glass in the house, we use this Sprayway glass cleaner that I got from, I'm pretty sure I got this target um we use lysol sanitizing wipes uh this is the fabuloso cleaner that we use to clean the floor it smells so good and it matches with our um like scented plug-in that we have so it's perfect it smells super clean in here and then to clean the toilet we use the power cleaning gel it makes the toilet bowl so shiny i love it so the first step in cleaning the bathroom is that i have to first get literally everything off of the counter everything needs to be stripped down and pretty much taken out of the bathroom so that we can get a really good deep clean i also need to to take everything off of these shelves because these also get sprayed down with that little spray wave solution so that they can be cleaned too. All right, first order of business now that everything is cleaned off and taken out. Y'all, this mirror is so grimy and gross. Can you see that? I'm just, ugh, I'm disgusted with all of it. Also, do you see my new phone tripod stand? It's um, MagSafe. So like, you know how the iPhone, like I think 13 and up have like the little circle cases and it's magnetic. Anyway, it, it's magnetic. It's cool. Anyway, but I use this specific glass cleaner and I love it because of the way it sprays is really foamy and oh, it's just the best. You should have been doing that the whole game, Nick. It's too late to get mad. don't matter the stats do not matter right now the 10 straight losses only make me feel worse oh do something nope. <laughs> yes go let's go jojo come here come on joe we got a touchdown <gasps> kobe not right now hey where's justin at kobe now is not the time we still got 30 seconds left it is not the time. Where is he at? 
Colby, we still have 30 seconds left. Literally anything can happen in 30 yeah, seconds. Bro. He on the couch watching the TV. Don't be cheering because there's still 32 seconds left. <laughs> oh, <die. laughs> All right, man, let me let me go console with my husband. No, I'm gonna go console with my husband. You will not speak to him. No. So I went to go and take Jojo outside so I can finally celebrate y'all. Roll Tide, RMFT, RMFT. Um, it just feels really good to be graduating on a dub. Why do I feel like I'm a quarterback and I'm getting interviewed after the game? It feels really good to be graduating on a dub, you know what I'm saying? Let's look at Um, But let me show y'all the bathroom because I did finish cleaning it. Justin is actually really, really upset. So I wasn't expecting him to be like actually upset, but he's like actually Anyway, I cleaned the bathroom, so let's see what it looks like. Y'all, I love it. It's so clean in here. Like, the toilet is sparkling. Look at the sink. The sink is literally sparkling. The mirror, no more dirty mirror. <laughs> no more dirty mirror. It's actually clean. And then I organized all of the skincare and body care stuff. Toilet is clean. No poo poo stains. And then let's lift this back. Scrub the shower head, showers clip. Like, look at how it's sparkling, y'all. I'm a cleaning girl. I'm a cleaning girl. I feel like you can also tell what people use, like based off of what's in their shower. So I use the Dove Shea Butter and Vanilla. Justin uses the Old Spice. He uses two different body washes, but those are two he uses. That's his um, shampoo. And then I love the Tree Hut Candy Cane um, like shave oil. It's really good. This is my favorite face wash in the entire world. It is the one by First Aid Beauty. It's the Pure Skin Facial Cleanser. And sometimes I alternate between the Tree Hut and the Athena Club. The Athena Club, I like it because it um, foams up, but I honestly like the Tree Hut one more because I feel like I get a closer shave. And then my razor back here is the one by Gillette. It's amazing. All right, so I'm dressed and ready for the gym. I'm wearing my Team Milk t-shirt because they're sponsoring me for my marathon. Well, that's not why I'm wearing it, but this is the shirt that they gave me. Um, and then I'm also wearing these pink shorts that I got from Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're from the brand Crazy Yoga. And then shoes of the day are these pink and white hokas that Hoka sent me, which is so nice of them. And yeah, we're going to the gym, so we will see y'all after because we're going grocery shopping. Justin and I left the gym. The workout was super good. And then we went to Target and we got groceries and we finally remembered to grab the reusable bag. And Justin said he loves using the reusable bags because we got one, or I got one from Aerie because I don't know if they're still having it. I'm sorry, I've been a bad bestie, but they were having 10 for 35 um, on their undies. And they gave me a huge bag instead of a small one, but I'm not complaining because now we use it for a target um we spent 187 dollars and some change and we got so much food like actual actual food instead of snacks like usually we go to the grocery store and we buy like a whole bunch of bs that we really don't need and then we look in the fridge it's like why do we have 85,000 drinks and no actual food so this time we have actual food because Justin was so gracious as to like plan out all the meals for this week, which was a lifesaver. So now we're just going to go by that. Um, and he thought up some really good stuff. So I'm excited to show y'all everything. Um, but right now we're going to Zaxby's because on the same day that you grocery shop, you just don't cook at home. Especially since we already cleaned the house, I don't feel like cooking. Um, really neither of us feel like cooking. So we're going to go to Zaxby's, get something to eat, and then we're going to go home. So Justin and I got Zaxby's for dinner and it was so good. I couldn't even stop and tell y'all about what I was eating because I was so hungry. But I basically just had um, salad and fries. So good. Um, and then Justin and I watched like two or three episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And now, <laughs> excuse me, now I'm about to read on my Kindle. I have the Kindle Paperwhite. I've had this for about a year and a half, maybe two years-ish. I got it from... I think Target, it was on sale for like $40. Um, so yeah, I have it and I love it. I have a good reads. It's always linked down in the description box. And also like the current book that I'm reading is always in the description box. Also, do y'all read that? Like whenever like people have, I know I personally never read the description boxes of the like YouTube creators that I subscribe to. But I was just wondering if y'all do. Y'all let me know. Anyway, so right now I'm reading Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. I'm pretty sure that's her name. I read Fourth Wing like maybe a week or so ago. Maybe like two weeks ago I finished Fourth Wing. So good. I was in a really bad reading slump from Sarah J Mass because Throne of Glass, like that first book was really good, but then the second one was so boring and it takes her so long to get to the point. Like it, it just doesn't take you 200 pages to say what you need to say. Absolutely not. But Rebecca Yarls, I like her because the book is really long. It's like 800 pages, but like everything she's telling you is stuff that you need to know and it's stuff that you need to remember so it's perfect and i love reading it 
Um, right now I think I'm on page like 285 maybe. I'm probably selling myself short. It's probably like 366. But I'm really loving it so far. Um, as far as what we have planned for tomorrow, Justin and I have to do a little Publix run. Um, just to get the last little bit of groceries. We literally just need pizza dough, um, a roller, like a rolling pin. And then we need some cereal and that's literally it. We're going to be watching football pretty much all day tomorrow. And then I'll be studying for nursing school of course tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to read and I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning vlog. It's... Uh, I really don't know what day that is. Hold on one second. <coughs> Today is Sunday, November the 26th at 1.32 p.m. We are honestly just now waking up, if I'm being totally honest. Um, JoJo decided that he wanted to get in the bed with us. Because if we don't put him up here, he will pace over and over again. And we have, um, like, hard floor. And so you can hear his claws just, like, tip-tapping the whole time. And it's really annoying. Um, we were supposed to get up to watch the Steelers game. Was the Steelers game? Yeah. Yeah. But we, you know, we didn't make it. We were so tired. We went to sleep at like 3.40 last night. So, happens. Um, right now we're going to get up and we're going to go to Publix because we need a few other things that Target didn't have yesterday. So let's go ahead and get up. Okay, so we're in Publix. I'm trying to find like what cereal mood I'm in this week. I love a lot of these cereals like the Lucky Charms, the Cheerios, the Fruit Loops, the Rice Krispies, Frosted Flakes, but I don't know what I'm in the mood for. I'm looking towards Frosted Flakes, but sometimes they taste like the middle spoon and I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so they're buy one get one free. So I think I'm going to get some Frosted Flakes and I'm going to get some Fruit Loops too. Okay. Justin said he wanted to make some skewers this week. So I'm gonna assume that we need these ones. Let me grab them. Well, if I didn't just drop them on the floor. Are these the ones you need, Justin? Okay. He's on the phone right now, but he said, yeah, these are the ones he needs. All right, so Publix also has a really good bakery. And so they have this Italian pre-rolled pizza dough. And Justin's gonna use that to make pizza rolls this week. One of the first things that Justin ever cooked for me was this soft bake um, taco kit. And we have not been able to find it anywhere and they just randomly have it in Publix. I love that. Um, so I also really wanted some brownies. So we're getting some double fudge brownie mix. We decided that we were gonna take Jojo to the quad just because like puppy RSB is going around. So we don't want him to go to daycare. He's giving Justin a run for his money right now. Cause there's so many squirrels right now. Um, squirrels out here. But um, like puppy RSB is going around and we don't want to take him to daycare and then he ends up getting sick because sick dog it's just that don't sound fun so we're gonna stay right here for a little while then we'll end up going to the gym and you know oh my gosh look at him he's freaking out you see a squirrel, yep, he's being a squirrel. you see that squirrel dodo <laughs> he looks so happy i just love it good morning everybody today is monday november 27th at 6 19 in the morning and right now justin and i are about to go to the gym um i am not a person that really likes to go to the gym in the afternoon or evening time just because it's so full and I'm not the biggest fan of having to like wait for machines because that's really annoying. Um, so we're going to try to go this morning. I also have ATI live review for nursing school. And if you're not in nursing school, you're just like not a nursing person in general. Before you graduate, you have to do something called ATI live review. And it's literally where you sit in a singular room from nine o'clock in the morning until I think 4 p.m. And they try to teach you everything you ever learned in nursing school over the span of three days. Now, mind you, my birthday is on Wednesday. So on my birthday, I will be spending it doing nursing school things. And I'm not like the, obviously I'm not a big fan of that, but I'm also not a birthday person. Um, growing up, we didn't just like really have birthday parties, especially me because I was somebody that misbehaved often. Um, I remember one year in third grade, I wrote in my binder that I hated my third grade teacher in like big red writing. I was like, I hate her. And at the time, like I did, like she was just me. And like, she wouldn't even teach us. She would get other students in our class to teach us the material. Like I remember this girl named Elena. She taught us about amphibians in the third grade. Why is she teaching us about amphibians? And she taught for three days. I don't remember what the third lesson was, but I remember on Monday, she taught about amphibians. On Tuesday, she was teaching us about the different kind of volcanic rocks, like sedimentary and igneous and like all the other, like I don't remember what the other one was, but. I, I, one of my classmates taught me that right anyway and I just hated her because I just I just didn't learn a lot in third grade and third grade was a very pivotal turning point for me because I almost failed one because my teacher wasn't teaching me and two just because I just didn't care to understand um and if y'all can't remember I went to an IB school so that's not a school that you can just go around and play in like they need to make sure that you know what you know but after that I became like a little scholar and I got into school but 
and here we are now but um yeah third grade was just not a good time for me but anyway we are going to the gym this morning and now that i'm up i feel a lot better i don't have ati live review like i just said until nine so we got a little bit of time before that um i also need to start working on my protein you're supposed to according to justin um personal trainer justin who i love um you're supposed to be eating 0 0.7 grams of protein like according to your body weight so for every one pound you eat 0 0.7 grams of protein is that right justin what's up the protein to body weight ratio is 0 0.7 well, yeah point, yeah point 0.7 okay yeah. there we go um so yeah we're gonna try to eat a lot more protein and i also feel like if you eat more protein you're not like you're gonna stay full for longer which is my problem like i'll eat like things that are really like not nutritionally dense and i'm like i'm hungry five seconds from then because obviously what i ate was not very filling like it has a lot of calories but it's not very filling if that makes sense so we're gonna try to change that starting off with going to the gym i'm letting justin pretty much dictate um my lifting journey this time around um just because I feel like I've grown into like liking just for somebody to just tell me what I need to do and just doing it. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm going to bring y'all with me just because if it is like I just I don't know. I just want to be able to like take this time to just focus on me. I feel like so much of my life is social media focused. It's a lot easier to bring my phone tripod than it is my camera tripod. So if you really want to see those videos, I'll have them over on my TikTok. But if it's empty today, I'll bring out tomorrow. How about that? I feel like that's that's a fair trade. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my hair really quick and we're gonna go. So I'll see y'all when we come back from the gym. All right, y'all, so we just came back from the gym. It was a really good leg day. I'm glad that I let Justin guide me through all of it. Um, just came home and I ate a breakfast sandwich just cause, you know, trying to get the protein in, make my protein coffee. And now we are off to ATI Live Review. I will not bring that with me just because y'all are about to die, but I will come back and give you a full synopsis of how everything went um yeah so i'll see you later all right so i just got out of the shower and i washed my hair because i am going to be taking my graduation pictures on sunday so i want to make sure that my sunday hair is my day four hair because usually on day three day four my hair is honestly looking its best and that's obviously what i'm going to want for my graduation photos um for the longest time i felt like my hair from the haircut that i got in june like it just wasn't growing but i feel like it has gotten i don't know just i feel like it's gotten longer and it's also a lot thicker and it has a lot more volume i guess because of the way that she cut it but like i feel like we're getting somewhere no like i definitely feel like we're getting somewhere so i'm gonna try not to count myself out because i feel like my hair is such a big part of like how I identify and I hate that because I know you're not supposed to do that but honestly just do whatever works for you I feel like my hair makes me feel really pretty and sometimes it's hard for me to put my hair up in a protective style just because I'm like oh but my hair is so much prettier when it's out and it's curly but like time management wise it's a lot better if my hair is just like in two braids it's put up and I like when I get stressed I like go to the back of my hair and I just start to like I don't know just rub and I don't know why I did it so much today in class but I need to stop doing that if I just put my hair up then I won't do that I don't know it also makes me feel like my hair is really short whenever I put it in braids but oh my gosh when it's on braids it's so moisturized and it's so shiny and it looks so good and it takes me absolutely no time at all to get dressed in the morning so I feel like I just need to just go ahead and do that um so the game plan right now is to just like do my normal hair routine I did a wash and go for pretty much two weeks um and so I think the way this is gonna go is I'm gonna do a wash and go for two weeks protective style wash and go protective style over and over again because that's what seems to work pretty well for my hair and if it ain't broke we ain't gonna fix it so again if you don't know what ATI live review is I'm pretty sure I already explained it but basically you are being taught and my hair looks so crazy um it's giving Frederick it's giving Frederick um, you're basically being taught everything that you should have learned in nursing school and it's not even really like teaching for a for all it's more so of like a system I look okay give me one second <laughs> okay sorry the hair was just giving a little bit too much Frederick Douglass and I just really couldn't deal with that but basically ATI live review is going to be a systematic review of pretty much like the high points of each subject that you learned in nursing school and I feel like I went into ATI live review with not the best like 
thought of it just like going into it, i was like oh my gosh i have to be here all day from nine to four like i'm gonna feel like my life is wasting away in this place you know i gotta be here on my birthday which is on wednesday it's not today um but i was like this is just gonna suck it's gonna suck it's gonna suck but the instructor was honestly really good and i feel like time went by super super fast oh i also should feel like i should tell y'all what this is i feel like i've showed y'all this before but this is the hair growth oil by camille rose it's the coco nibs and honey um ultimate strength serum for hair growth i also have the like the little drops by meal that are also in here um i know the genetics plays a really big part of like hair growth and just how your hair is in general but i will say that i feel like this does work so i'm gonna link it down in the description box if y'all want to get it but i definitely do think that it works anyway um but the teacher she was so cool and she was just very like no bs trying to make you feel like you didn't just waste six hours of your life which i really appreciate um but she gave us these um the pink ati i'm pretty sure it's like the comprehensive book um and it's exactly what it means like it covers all the subjects that you learned in nursing school and pretty much talks about like the high points and everything um but she was an icu nurse for very many years she was a manager and now she works for ati which i think is like a really awesome that's like very full spectrum nursing but anyway she had like these folders and the folders had like worksheets and i wasn't expecting to be working today i was expecting to just like sit in there and i thought like all the nursing schools across the country were going to listen to like this one zoom but like no it's an actual person that is like in your classroom and she had like worksheets and then like whenever we had questions like let's say the questions were like one two three four like pick, pick which one you think is right she had these little like cardboard numbers that we all had in our folders and like you hold it up for whatever answer choice you think is right and then she goes over why each answer choice is right or wrong and she just explained it in a way that made so much sense it was perfect it was perfect it was perfect it was perfect and then we also got a 10 minute break at the top of each hour so every hour i left the room absolutely left the room um and i either went for a walk outside or i did some stuff for school that like wasn't academic like we have to turn in like our transcript and like proof of id and blah 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 all that stuff so that when we graduate they can go ahead and send our um what is it called they can send our transcripts to i guess the powers that be to let them know that we graduated because you can't take the NCLEX until after you have proof that you graduated and so they just want to make sure that they have all that stuff. We had a 12 hour lunch break um, at 12 hour? No we did not. We had a one hour lunch break at 12 p.m. and so I went to a local coffee shop and I got a sandwich and then I walked back and I ate it um, and then we went back to class and I feel like after lunch like everything just started going so fast. So fast, so fast. Um, and I was just really pleased just with the way that she taught because she was engaging and like she told stories when telling stories was appropriate, which I feel like a lot of instructors like don't really get when too much is too much or like when enough is enough. So I just really appreciated that. And I'm so excited to go back tomorrow. And I just honestly feel like I learned so much. And it's like we didn't do a thousand practice questions but she just changed my perspective on how you approach questions how you look at questions how you read questions how you read answer choices like your method how do you say that word methodology yeah methodology of like going about answering a question especially like if you don't know what it is and apparently a lot of people in my cohort haven't been using the board like the NCLEX board vitals that's on ATI um they sent us an email about it and as soon as they sent that and said that it had 3,000 practice questions for the NCLEX I was like well I'm all over that so that's what I've been using since I think like the beginning of November that's like the interface that I've been using to study y'all it's really really hard but according to her like it's supposed to be really really hard so it makes me feel good I mean it doesn't make me feel good in the moment because it makes me feel really stupid when I get questions wrong, but I keep telling myself I would rather get questions wrong on the practice test than get questions wrong on the NCLEX. Also, speaking of the NCLEX, she showed us um, like what the testing rooms for the NCLEX look like. Y'all, why did my eyes start watering? And I immediately, like my heart started beating so fast. I definitely need to look up like pre-test anxiety tips or something like that because I cannot be freaking out during the NCLEX. Now, like I freak out like whenever I see the picture, but I feel like on the day of, I'm gonna walk in there and I'm gonna be so calm, so cool, so collected, and it's gonna be fun, but I, I don't know. I still just think it's so crazy that 
it's almost time for me to graduate. Okay, but let's get into the tea. Okay, so obviously when you're at school, you're not gonna like everybody. There's gonna be some people that you like, some people that you don't like, and there are different personalities, which is good because there are different personalities in the medical field. And like, everybody doesn't have my type of personality and my type of personality may not be everybody's cup of tea, and that's fine. Like, it's important for people to be different, right? And I expect that people are different, I expect. <laughs> Words. I respect that people are different and I think it's important. I think it's, you know, it makes society move forward in the right direction. You know what I mean? Okay, when you get into nursing school, or like you're trying to get into nursing school, obviously it's going to be super competitive because they can't take everybody, especially at a school as prestigious and like top notch as mine. And yes, I am bragging because <laughs> we that girl. But like everybody can't get in so like literally only the best of the best the top of the top the smartest of the smart are going to get into this program and so of course when we're in lower division nursing like we're all like competing and i really hate that we're pretty much like pitted against each other it's like the hunger games like for real especially like let me talk about this i'm gonna i'm you know i'm gonna hit it and quit it whatever but i felt like for so long because i was doing daily vlogs on tiktok and i was also filming every single day for youtube and like trying to diversify my content but i felt like i wasn't even living my life anymore like my life was like vlog cameras like y'all in this hand and phone in this hand and i'm like filming everything but i'm not being present in the moment which i guess just i don't know it just made me really sad so I'm not doing uh, daily vlogs on TikTok anymore. So y'all are gonna start getting a lot more from me just because I feel like this is what YouTube was for. Like I wanted YouTube to be like a look into my daily life. Like what am I doing? Especially so that I can go back and look at what I was doing and like what I was wearing and my hair and like I got my braces off. Like those big milestone moments. Like I just want to capture and I feel like it's. I feel like y'all know me better than anybody else like Instagram is very like augmented reality and like you only show what you want people to see and so I feel like Instagram not real TikTok I feel like is a little bit more like okay like you're saying my daily life like you're kind of getting to know me a little bit more but YouTube like y'all look at me right now like y'all know me better than literally any other social media platform and I feel like we just connect a lot better because y'all y'all be in the comments y'all be in the comments and it's like y'all care so much and i care so much about y'all that it just it oh, i'm getting cheesy but like it just feels really good to know that like we have such a good connection because in 2019 i wanted to start a youtube so bad but i was so afraid of what people from my high school are gonna think they're like oh my gosh she's literally so lame like look at this stupid video that jayana just posted but one day i was like you know what just whatever like i'm just gonna do it and i'm just gonna live my life and if they want to support me they will if they don't they don't it doesn't matter like people that are doing better than you and people that are on the same path as you like striving towards greatness are not gonna make fun of you they're just not like they're too focused on being better and uplifting others around them that just is what it is so I'm really glad that I decided to do YouTube because y'all are just, I don't know, y'all are my bookies and I love y'all, y'all are amazing. Um, but anyway, the plan for tomorrow is to get up at 6 a.m., go to the gym once again, um, pretty much kind of redo this day all over again, but I don't know what day two will bring. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Um, and yeah, today is a really good day. I feel like I should start rating my days. I feel like today's rating gets, a 9 out of 10. The only reason that it's not going to be a 10 out of 10 is because of that person in ATI Live Review that was really getting on my nerves. But hopefully she takes a chip up and she feels a lot better tomorrow and she doesn't feel the need to get everybody's attention all the time. Oh my gosh. Also, so y'all know I go to UA. So I, you can like rent Big Al or like buy Big Al, I guess, to bring your graduation photos. And Justin did like an inquiry form for me. And I get a text from somebody. She was like, hey, I'm Brooklyn. I'm going to be your Big Al for the day. And I was like... What? <laughs> so it's supposed to be on the 30th, but y'all, yeah, my graduation dress is not here, my stole is not here, I haven't gotten the scrubs that I want to wear, like, Brooklyn. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So I'm probably gonna have to reschedule that because, like, imagine what a bad batch I would be if I had Big Al in my graduation photos. And I already have my caption, y'all can still leave if you want to, if it applies to you. But you know how, like, for football, at least at UA, they would, like, play for four, stay for four, so, like, if they're, the football team's gonna play for four quarters, then you need to stay for four quarters and, like, not waste a ticket since somebody else could have gotten that ticket. So I'm gonna say play for five, stay for five, period. Cause I'm a fifth year, you gotta know that. Quick little backstory, if you're new here, hi, my name's Jay. Um, go to the University of Alabama. I started in 2018 as a freshman and I was pre-med buyer for like two and a half years. <sighs> Scary. Um, and then I transitioned to nursing. I started, well, I applied for nursing school on November 4th, 2019. And I started nursing school in August of 2021. Cause I still had to do some nursing prerequisite classes. Um, but thank God I had a, um, strong like science background because i feel like that helped me to transition really easily into nursing oh also speaking of nursing i know this is like word vomit but i'm going to be using archer review to study for the NCLEX because i've heard 
so many good things about it and I heard it looks exactly like the NCLEX like especially the format and like some of the questions of course it's not like the exact same question verbatim but it's like hmm someone cooked here you know what I'm saying like it's the same it's the same smell of question you know what I'm saying so that's what I'm gonna be using um but yeah as far as tonight goes I'm gonna do my hair I'm gonna read my book I'm still reading for not fourth wing I'm still reading Iron Flame um by Rebecca Yarls so good so good i hope i can get a good chunk done because this and i probably need to go to sleep at like 10 30. it is currently 10 37. i want to do my hair and i will see y'all in the morning all right good morning vlog today is november 28th at like 8 40 in the morning i have ati live review all day again today so of course i'll come back and tell you about everything that happens i already know something's gonna happen um but this morning justin and i went to the gym and we did back and abs and my back is already sore um, I went ahead and had breakfast. Um, I'll make sure to show y'all what I have for breakfast every morning tomorrow. Tomorrow's also my birthday. I'll be 24. Um, but I just have three eggs and then like two of the eggs I put to the side. One of the eggs I put on um, an English muffin, kind of like the ones I have at Starbucks. And then I have um, a little sausage patty. I have two sausage patties, but one sausage patty goes on the sandwich. Some cheese on top. I eat it. It's really good. Um, but I'm glad I came to the bathroom because my retainer is in here, so I definitely need that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go to ATI Live Review and I'll see y'all later. All right, hey guys, I'm back from ATI Live Review day two. There are three days. Um, tomorrow is my birthday, turn 24, and I will be sitting my butt in that chair listening to whatever this nice lady wants to tell me about how I can best prepare for the ATI. Um, and also just telling me anything that I need to know. Um, so today was pretty much like yesterday. And what I like about my nursing school is that whenever we have a class somewhere like that first day, you figure out where you're going to sit and you sit there for the rest of the semester. Like don't ever move your seat ever. Like you, you stay where you planted your butt. So I ended up getting my seat back. Um, I sat next to this guy, but there were like two or three chairs in between us. So it was fine. Um, and he's a nice guy. I just, you know, I just like to sit by myself anyway um so yeah i you know how yesterday i was just saying like a lot of people have a lot of different personalities and obviously you're not gonna mesh well with everyone i just don't understand how some people just lack social awareness like if people are rolling their eyes and people are huffing and puffing every time you talk to them it's probably because they don't want to talk to you it's probably because they don't want anything to do with you right and it's really annoying yeah i was just really annoyed today but i learned so much and i'm so glad that my school like has this huge review session because it is so helpful it's so so helpful um when i got home today justin was like do you want to open one of your presents today and i was like you did not have to get me anything and i'm like weird about birthdays because i told you like i didn't really have birthdays growing up for real for real so like having people get me stuff like makes me feel weird because i'm naturally like the gift giver like i love just like doing stuff for people because it makes me feel good but i was like no like i'll just wait until tomorrow i also didn't take any pictures like i'm not gonna have time to take pictures either i mean i, I guess i will when i get home but i want to press it first i want to post a picture um like while i'm still at ati live review so i think i'm going to use one of the pictures that we took in turks of me holding the coconut and i was like because it's just so fun and i feel like that was like a very big turning point like in my life at 23 so yeah um overall let's do a mental health check let's see how we're doing today um overall i feel really good um that one person ati kind of annoyed me really bad but like other than that i'm feeling really good um i'm really happy with just like where my life is going i had a brand meeting today for someone that i'm working with in january and oh my gosh everybody was so nice and sometimes when you work with brands they'll be like oh yeah like we love your content and they know nothing about you actually like they're just saying it because it's a nice thing to say but they like actually knew my content like they knew the kind of things that i was posting and they know like little things that i say and they knew jojo and they knew just like watch the content and that made me feel really really good like i love when brands actually care about you as a person and as a content creator like ugh. it just don't get better than that um but yeah i'm trying to think if i have any other news oh so my graduation cords are going to be coming in on i think saturday so we're probably going to take our graduation pictures on sunday so my dresses and stuff come in on friday graduation other stuff comes in on saturday gonna take the pictures on sunday my mom also texted me today and she was like where do you want to have your graduation dinner and like honestly I feel like I'm and it probably doesn't even make sense because I do social media but I'm really weird when like all of the attention is on me like I love to be a background character just like watching you know what everybody else is doing so it's really weird whenever like I'm in the hot scene that's like okay everybody wants to do what I want to do and I wanted to tell my mom was like oh we can just go wherever you want but she would have been like girl this is literally for your graduation what are you talking about we're gonna go to jalapenos which is a local Mexican restaurant in Tuscaloosa and it's like 
in Northport. Um, and I feel like people aren't going to be going there, but y'all, they have Margs and I can get drunk because I'm also not driving, so it's going to be perfect. Um, speaking of, Justin right now is making um, some kind of, it's pretty much like a pizza calzone, but he's making it from scratch, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be really good. Um, I am going to get up super early in the morning, and we're going to go to Orange Theory. I think the class is at 6.15. But at Orange Theory, whenever it's your birthday, you get a cool little sign that's like Diana's 24th birthday burn, and I feel like that'd be so cute. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, and yeah, then I have ATI Live Review, gonna come home. Oh my gosh, Publix, you get a free bar cake for your birthday. I will be going by Publix tomorrow and getting that because <coughs> that sounds so good. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I'm really happy, very satisfied with everything. I'm just ready to graduate, and I'm ready to stop being so like uber conscious about grades okay because i just want to talk about this for a second so at my school you have to have a 75 exam average for like all of your classes like for your exams your exam grades have to equal 75 percent well in one class i ended up missing a quiz because i got them confused with another class um and so i like i marked it off my calendar but i marked it off like for the wrong class like i did my community health clinical words i did my community health quiz but i didn't do my leadership quiz and so i ended up missing a quiz um and so now my quiz average is a 72 and i don't mind telling you that it, it is what it is my quiz average is a 72 and i was like okay well since we don't have exams in this class do the quizzes count as exams because if so that is not good but the instructor the clinical course leader is super super nice so i feel like they're definitely going to make their so i feel like i just feel like according to like the verbiage in that like document that we have to sign that quizzes aren't exams and nowhere does it say like quizzes will take the place of exams and exams aren't offered in the class i'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine so that's why i'm not really gonna worry about it too too much but other than that i'm really happy i'm really excited to graduate i'm excited to take y'all along with me because it has been a wild ride y'all have been with me since my third semester of nursing school and i just feel like that was so long ago and i feel like we have grown so much and i'm just really glad that y'all are here because y'all keep me grounded all right good morning guys today is wednesday november the 29th and today i turned 24 years old um i have already gotten birthday messages from a lot of people which is really sweet because y'all know i'm not like i'm just like not the biggest birthday person so it was really nice that people have already tasted me like sending me sweet paragraphs and that just makes me feel really good um it was also really funny because justin woke me up this morning and i went to the bathroom because i had to pee really bad and then i came back because I need to pick out my outfit for Orange Theory which is where we're going right now and it's literally 5 42 in the morning and it's 20 degrees outside but um he just started like pulling presents from under the cover which was so funny and I was like why did you get a bag and he was like no you were just supposed to like pull back the cover and see it um but he got me all the stuff that I wanted for my birthday and I am just not like I'm not a good person to get gifts for because like whenever I want something I just go and buy it like I I have no like self-control when it comes to like if i have the means to get it i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it um but he got me a lot of the like stuff that i wanted which is really nice um i also got an email from my teacher and she was like if i open that quiz for you like we just go ahead and take it and i was like yes so i will have to take that quiz um i always forget like as soon as i do it on my lips i always forget to put it over my face but she was like if i open that quiz for you will you just go ahead and do it and i was like yes ma'am i will so I'll be doing that at some point today. Um, usually on my birthday every year, I go back and get Starbucks, but since I cannot do that, I'll be going by another little cafe um, and getting some coffee this morning. And overall, it's just gonna be a really good day and I'm just excited to have it started. And I'm probably gonna be drunk by the end of the day, which is really good. Um, today is my very last day of nursing school ever. Today is my very last day of nursing school ever. Like I never have to go back to class. There's not another thing that I need to learn after today. And that is just so freeing and it feels so freaking good. And I graduate in two weeks and just life is just, everything is just falling into place. Everything is exactly as it needs to be. Everybody's in the exact place that they need to be. And it's just perfect and I'm really happy. Um, so we're gonna go to Orange Theory. Um, you will be coming with me, at least in the car, because now they made a new rule that you can't bring your phone into Orange Theory, which I get it. Like, you need to be focused on you and not focused on, like, your phone and, like, how other people perceive you in Orange Theory. But, like, that's my whole job. Anyway, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go to Orange Theory, and then we have class today. 
All right, y'all, we made it to Orange Theory. Hopefully they have my little birthday sign. I hope they do. I guess we'll see. Yeah, y'all, I am back from Orange Theory. Um, burned 695 calories this morning. So, very good way to start my day. I feel very awake. Um, one of the girls in here is like really sweet and we're supposed to be going running together pretty soon. Um, and Orange Theory every day on, not every day on your birthday, but every year on your birthday, they make this super cute sign for you. Can y'all see that? Let me turn the brightness down a little bit. I usually can see better. But yeah, that's me. And then it says, birthday burn crushed. And then this is 11.29 at the very bottom, so that's me. Um, but yeah, it was really fun, it was a really good class. It was an endurance-based class because yesterday was Capture the Flag, which like on the rower, like if you row, I think it was like 2,000 meters in a set amount of time, then you get the green flag, and then 4,000, you get the orange flag, and then 5,000 plus, you get the red flag, and then you get to take a picture with all the flags that you captured at the end of the class. So we didn't have rowing today, we just had endurance, and then we had some really cool weights on the weight floor. But now we're gonna go home and we're gonna shower because I'm pretty sure I stink. Okay, so it is 6.45. I am obviously done with ATI Lab Review. I'm kind of annoyed because I drove to school today because I was like, oh, there's definitely gonna be like free paid to park parking spaces. No, there weren't, it was absolutely full. And then as soon as nine o'clock hit, everybody that was in those paid to park parking spots were gone. So I called Justin when I got to school at like 8.30 this morning. And I was like, hey, like I, you know, messed up. I'm gonna come back home. Um, can you, um, just like drive me to school and so I get home and all I see is Justin meandering down the street no shirt on in a blue robe and I'm like what is happening what is happening right now and he was like what apparently he meant like he was gonna just come outside and he was gonna drive my car instead of me going into the parking deck parking and getting in his car which arguably does make a lot more sense than what I said but it was just a very shocking scene to see him without a shirt on with a robe and it's 20 degrees outside just like walking down the street it was crazy Anyway, get back to class. Um, today was my last official day of nursing school. I never have to go back. I never have to learn anything from those people ever again. My brain is very full though. Like I took a nap because I had like a really bad like sleep headache, um, but I learned a lot today. It was kind of like information overload. Um, there are some people that told me happy birthday at school, which I thought that was really sweet. Um, I turned in all of my documents because like my school is like, oh, like by December 1st, you need to go ahead and like submit these documents so that when you graduate, we can go ahead and send them to the board of nursing, whatever, you can get your ATT, you can take your test, all good. So I went ahead and did that. Um, for lunch, Justin and I went to Chick-fil-A and you know Chick-fil-A, you get your little birthday reward. So I got that. We sat in the car, we ate, we talked. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm going to touch on this topic. Okay, I am. I'm going to touch on it. Uh, I'm going to keep it very discreet. I feel like if somebody wrongs you, okay, me. If somebody wrongs me, like it is not my job to like clean it up and try to make them feel better about whatever it is they did. I'm a very like, okay, you did it once, you're done. Like, like I'm not going to keep giving you chances after chances after chances. Especially when I know that you have repetitive behavior for not treating people correctly. Like I'm not just going to keep giving you chances. That's a waste of my time and it's a waste of your energy. It's done, right? So if I already know that our relationship isn't the best, right? Um, I'm not going to bend over backwards to do things for you. I'm not going to bend over backwards to reach out. Like that's not my responsibility. That's not my role in the situation, right? And so apparently this person... Um, messaged me and said happy birthday but then they started saying like all this other crazy stuff that was like super rude and it was super inappropriate to me on my birthday something that was not only one inappropriate but number two never happened and they were just spreading it around like it had happened and it didn't and it was it's so very frustrating because that's how they communicate they communicate by bringing up number one lies or if it's not a lie something that's like in your past that you have grown from because you were literally what a child and like oh my gosh remember when you did this oh my gosh remember this embarrassing thing that you did when you were this like that's not only is it not necessary but number two is inappropriate and it's just dumb and i guess when i didn't respond to this person fast enough they like went to other people and they were like oh my gosh can you believe that jay didn't tell me thank you for telling her happy birthday like i don't have to do that I don't have to do that obviously y'all are gonna tell me happy birthday of course I'm gonna say thank you because y'all have been nothing but supportive nothing but kind but like it's it's weird it's weird like how this person communicates through bringing up very 
well, number one untrue things or number two like very negative things about your past it's strange it's like they can't understand how to like have a normal conversation with you like just say hey jay how are you doing what are you doing today what are your plans for today you have any plans for you know this week any fun trips coming up like how are you doing mentally like you know how are you stay up how are you taking care of yourself no it's always jay remember this embarrassing thing you did remember this embarrassing thing you used to do like remember you dated this person like that's so first of all i'm married like don't don't bring up other people that i used to date because i'm married so that doesn't matter anymore anyway just very inappropriate but i'm gonna hit it and quit it on that and i'm just let it be what it is anyway um so this morning when i went to the bathroom and came back <laughs> justin was in the bed and he was like all wrapped up in the covers and i was doing something on this bedside table and i guess i was supposed to flip the cover back and i never did and so he just started like flipping gifts out from the covers and i thought that was so funny um i commend him for getting gifts at all and i know this probably sounds crazy people are like he's your husband like of course he's gonna get you gifts but i'm somebody like and i feel like i told y'all this as soon as i see something i'm going to go buy it like if i see it like I'm, I'm gonna go get it that's just it so i'm a really hard person to buy gifts for and people hate having to buy gifts for me because it's like you really have to think out of the box if you're gonna go and get me something um and justin did obviously because he's an amazing husband um so i went to target and he basically got everything that i have ever touched or ever looked at at target recently i was like yep got it and it's like it's so random but it's such a good present like if you know me and you know justin like how we talk is perfect anyway so we went to target maybe like a few days ago and i saw this ice tray it's the houdini ice tray and it has like real small ice cubes and i was like justin we need this we we need this ice tray and he was like no we don't we don't we don't need this ice tray i was like no because every time i come in target and i look at this ice tray and i need it and you know how much i love ice and it's small and blah blah, blah. And he was like no i was like you know what okay i'm gonna walk away i'm gonna walk away from this ice tray that i really want because i'm in target and sometimes when you're in target target will show you things that you don't need so i'm walking away now the ice tray is here like it's perfect and now i cannot wait to use this because i love ice and i love small ice i hate like those big crescent moon kind of ice cubes i think that's the kind that we have i mean it's fine like ice is ice at the end of the day but this is game changing game changing also y'all know that justin and i have been going to the gym super early in the morning recently um and when i was doing deadlifts it felt like my fingers were bleeding it felt like the skin was slipping away from the muscle and the bone and my hands were red and raw and it wasn't that i couldn't do more weight it's that i couldn't do more weight because my hands were hurting so bad and i need my hands in order to do deadlift so he went and he got me some gloves so now my hands won't feel like they're bleeding whenever i'm doing deadlifts and then i can lift more weights which you know more gains which is perfect um the other gift he got me fell on the floor um i am always literally always making some excuse as far as why we need to go to home goods it, do it doesn't matter if we don't need anything it doesn't matter if we just went yesterday it doesn't matter if we just went one hour ago there is something at home goods that we need i don't even care if we're in another city we must go buy home goods and we have to see what they have because this home goods might have a different selection than the home goods at home and it's important that i go in there and i see what they got right one of our favorite christmas decorations literally came from home goods it's that little globe that's on our um our coffee table in the living room and it says mr and mrs established 2023 and i love it it's like a huge little ornament and i love it and it's perfect guess where i got it from home goods so he got me a home goods gift card so that i could go in and spend whatever i wanted at home goods and i love that like just just think about the box this present is the one that i screamed about because um y'all know about my polaroid wall right let me show you just in case you don't know it's not completely finished but um every single day i take a polaroid of the best part of my day so there are so so many polaroids that are up here and this is not even all of them like that is a very very small portion of all the polaroids that i have i'm pretty sure here's another pack of polaroids this is like over 60 in here um and this is like from our wedding trip to seattle and like just other random ones so all those have to go up here but um i have been wanting a polaroid printer for the longest time like having to lug around my polaroid is like really annoying and i have to like stop and get people to take pictures and like line it up <coughs> and make sure everything looks good and sometimes it's just really hard because like polaroids especially this one where it only has one mode and you can't adjust it like because you know somehow like some of them they have like the house and if it's cloudy and if it's super sunny this one's just like you get whatever you get like whatever you point the camera at and shot like that's what's going to come out of the camera but now with a polar printer you still need the um instax mini film which i have so much of that i just bought a new pack of 60. um you can just print the pictures from your phone and it prints out just like that so it's as if you took your polar picture with you which is so 
special because now my nanny which I don't know I definitely don't have any vlogs with her because I started YouTube after but um that's my dad's mom um and she passed away a few years ago and I have pictures with her that I obviously have never had up here um just because like I didn't have my Polaroid camera back then so it'd be really nice to like wake up and see pictures of her and then like our wedding photos and just like you know little random photos from before I had my Polaroid camera like just to be able to have those up there is so so special so this is definitely like the best gift that I've gotten in such a long time and I'm so grateful um so we're definitely gonna do this because this looks really fun um also we are going to go to jalapenos tonight there's a very good chance there's a very good chance that I'm gonna come home and be very intoxicated but that is okay because that is what birthdays are for and it's the end of the semester and I never have to go back to nursing school ever again and yeah I feel like I always do this at the end of the semester I always um drink <laughs> yeah I always drink um but it feels as far as how it feels to be finally done with nursing school I I keep saying I feel like it's never gonna be over but I feel like today I finally felt like wait like this is actually gonna be over like we went to um I like got school today they called us and they were like oh come in you know pick this up if you took a picture and for reference I am right here I hate this picture but whatever there I am right there but this like put all of it into perspective this screams like you are about to graduate like this is this is cap and gown your graduation pictures are already taken like you're done and I feel like this program is super super rigorous and it took a lot out of me and I feel like I have changed so much as a person from being in this nursing program and overall do I feel like it's for the better yes have I gotten some personality traits that I wish I didn't have along the way absolutely namely being I won't say I have full-fledged anxiety but sometimes I do think I have situational anxiety and something that our instructor said today at the ATI live review she was like sometimes anxiety just isn't yours to take home with you like you have it for a minute it's just for that situation and it leaves you it's not something that you have to constantly grapple with every day yes that is me situational anxiety like and Justin can attest to this whenever I have to set alarms for like school or anything I have to set like at least 20 because I'm so afraid of not being where I'm supposed to be for nursing school at that time it is the biggest fear and I don't know why I usually don't have very much test anxiety um, I feel like I did more so for semester just because we had a test every single week in a different subject and it was like constantly having to like okay this week I am all about peds and I can't really focus on any of my other classes okay switching gears as soon as I take my pieces okay I am all about maternal child and I can't think about anything else even though the world is literally burning around me I can only think about maternal child and I feel like I was just on the fast track so much for semester it just wasn't good for me and third semester was very much not good for my mental health at all but hey I made it through I had amazing people around me to support me the whole time they kept my head up and it was great um but I just I'm glad that it's almost over and I'm glad to finally be closing this door on this chapter of my life just because so much happened so much happened and I'm just like looking at myself then and looking at myself now I'm so proud of how far I came I'm proud that I never gave up I'm proud that I was constantly changing and adapting to whatever environment I was put in even when there were setbacks I kept my chin up you know what I'm saying I kept my chin up if I made a mistake I owned up to it and I mean here I am like I'm graduating from a D1 university with a bachelor's degree in nursing that is so crazy when I enter college that is not what I thought I'd be graduating with this is not the year that I thought I was gonna be graduating but I stayed the course and I'm I'm really really proud of that I almost cried a little bit today when it finally hit me like oh my gosh this is over this is over and I feel like at graduation I wrote I will cry not because it's like oh my gosh like I'm gonna miss you know being in college and like what that means I'm definitely not gonna miss that that has not been like my favorite part of all of this but I I think I would just cry happy tears of just being so proud of myself and seeing myself through all of this because it has been a lot and anybody that has been through a rigorous nursing program can tell you that it is a lot and it changes you as a person and I feel like also the people around you change like when I was in third semester fourth semester Justin would already know go ahead and have a paragraph queued up before the test and after the test because I am going to need it because I'm going to freak out and I'm going to say that I'm not good enough and I don't deserve to be here and I'm not smart enough to be here I'm gonna say all of that and I need you to be my voice of reason and I need you to bring me back down to earth because I'm gonna be so off on another planet so I feel like not only does being in our school affect you it definitely 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 affects other people around you um, but yeah I'm I'm really happy I'm really happy and I am super proud of myself for even 
making it this far. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start printing these Polaroid pictures out and see what they look like. Okay, so Justin and I are about to go and get Mexican food. Of course, y'all are coming with us. I ain't, I ain't got my best fit on today, y'all. I got some platform Uggs. I got my Lululemon soft stream pants. I got a random Alabama t-shirt and then I got on my gray Nike hoodie. But I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. It ain't time to be cute. Um, oh, also, <clears throat> I also got the Polaroid printer to work. Look at this cute picture of Justin and Jojo. I love it. Y'all, Justin said he did not like my outfit. He said, girl. She had on Uggs. I did. That was I it. showed y'all. Yeah. That so I, <laughs> she knew better. Y'all knew better. It's crazy. They didn't. They agree with me. No, they didn't. I had that shit on, huh? No. Yeah, I did. And anyway. took it off. <laughs> Anyway, Justin's wearing his UW um, hoodie, so I'm wearing my UW crew neck, and then I changed and I put on my um, basics. And now we're going to jalapenos. I'm so excited. Okay, so we made it to jalapenos. I ordered a frozen strawberry margarita. Um, a little fun fact about me, whenever I get drunk, I start feeling so pretty and I start telling people, I'm like, I'm so beautiful. I'm so beautiful. And then I want to start like dancing on the table and talking to strangers. I doubt Justin's gonna let it get it that far. No, I'll plan on it. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be drinking all of this. All right, y'all. So I always get the chimichanga dinner, and it comes with rice, beans, and queso. Justin got beef quesadillas. Is that what you get? Yeah. And this queso, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right. It is like almost 6 p.m. on November the 30th. I'm pretty sure today is Thursday. Um, and today I really didn't do much. Like I woke up relatively late just because. Justin and I wanted to sleep in, especially after getting up early all week. Oh my gosh, my hair looks so good. It's been in like a braided bun for like two days and it looks really good. It's growing so fast, which is making me so happy. You know, like you cut your hair and then you get in that weird like, like you like a founding father a little bit. I think I'm going out of the founding father stage and I'm just turning into like a regular, regular girl. Anyway, um, but we didn't really do much today. The only thing that we did was like, we got up at like one o'clock. That was the first thing. Got up at one o'clock and then I, okay, before I even do this, I need to section my hair because it is so hard to like get my parts correct whenever I don't section my hair first. You know what I'm talking about? Little clippy thingies. I think I may have like one surviving these, that little alligator clips. Okay. And I'm just gonna, it's so hard to twist my hair up. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this like dead center in the middle and we'll do that last. Okay, y'all just gonna have to do with my hair looking a little funky in these clips. But um, anyway, yeah, so I woke up at like 12 just because we have been getting up, not even 12, it was like one, um, just because we have been getting up early all week to go to the gym. And Justin is not really a morning person. And I kept telling him all week, I was like, bro, you literally do not have to come. Like, I know you are miserable right now, but Justin doesn't like to work out by himself. So he would rather, get up early in the morning and go with me then go by himself later in the day which is kind of sweet but yeah so it's kind of what we've been doing um lay on the couch was a couch potato for a very long time today um is this camera dirty i cannot tell let's see i probably just made it dirty yep showed it is that better okay yeah i think that's better anyway um, so yeah, I tried to convince Justin to make me breakfast and he kept saying no. <laughs> so I got up and I made myself breakfast. I pretty much just had eggs, waffles. I do not like syrup on my waffles. Um, when I was younger, I vividly remember watching Corey in the House and Hannah Montana whenever it came on TV and eating, oh, and uh, Sweet Apple Zach and Cody. And I would eat like four waffles or four to two, I can't remember. But I would eat four waffles and then I, instead of putting syrup on it, I would put honey on it and not honey, more. Instead of putting um, syrup on it, I would put jelly and it was so good, specifically grape jelly, like not any other kind, specifically grape jelly. And it was really good. Honestly, y'all, I enjoyed it. I, I can't lie to you, I actually enjoyed it. Um, and then I started having syrup on my waffles for a few years. I didn't really eat waffles that much, like through high school and like most of college, but now that I've kind of moved into my own space, I eat waffles a lot more just because they're super easy to make and, you know, locale, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I like to eat butter and honey on my waffles just because I feel like it tastes really good. So anyway, we did that. We laid on the couch. We were laughing at just like random stuff. 
Um, and then at 3.58, Justin was like, yeah, we should probably just go ahead and start getting ready for class. And I was like, no, like I have like two more minutes left. And then I checked my Orange Theory app and it said that my class was at 4.15 and not 4.30. So of course I started panicking and I got dressed in literally like two minutes. And whenever I get dressed really fast like that, Justin is like, so you have the capability to get dressed that fast all the time. So I, like, I don't understand why it takes you two hours to get ready anytime you go somewhere. And I'm like, bro, literally now is not the time for that. Now is not the time for that. Oh, also in other news, you remember how I was telling y'all that my instructor let me make up that quiz? Ended up making a 100 on the quiz. I couldn't see my grade at first like we usually can just because like it was already late. So she had to go in there and hand grade it, which a uh, queen, queen. So she went in there and hand graded it. I made a hundred and it uh, like boosted my quiz grade from being a, oh my gosh, I'm literally sitting here talking and I'm not even going through like my correct hair routine. So let's fix this real quick. Okay, this is the gel that I use. I'm pretty sure I've showed y'all this before. It's the Wet Line Extreme. I get it from Target, but I just add some water to it. Can y'all see that I added water? You see it moving? I add some water to it and then I just kind of mix it up. And I don't know why, but it just makes for the best wash and go consistency ever. I don't know why. That in combination with any like leave-in conditioner from Camille Rose, it makes for the best wash and go. I don't know why, but it will last you a long, long time. And I'm taking my graduation pictures this week. And so I need today to be day one so that Sunday can be my day four here. Cause today's, wait, wait, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Day three here is usually good too. Day three here is good. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I just need to make sure that my hair is like curly for my graduation photos, but like not day one curly because it's like super curly. There's not really any frizz. There's not really any volume, which I like. I like that. It's just not necessarily what I need for my graduation photos because I want my hair to be like perfect by my standards for those. Anyway, so I rushed and I went to Orange Theory. Um, I'm honestly surprised I made it. I made it with like two minutes to spare. I had enough time to like put my stuff in my locker, figure out where I was going. And as soon as she told me that she was going to put me on rower 12, I was like, bro, I already know today is going to be crazy because whenever I get put on rower instead of tread first, it's always some BS, right? So when I went to my birthday class, that class was genuinely one of the best Orange Theory classes I've ever been to. Like it was, it made me feel like I worked out, but I didn't leave like huffing and puffing like I usually do. Um, so anyway, we get in there, we're rowing and then we switch and like we transition over to the weight floor and the weight floor, I'm like, bro, we're doing back. Yes. Slay. Like back exercises at Orange Theory are genuinely my favorite. So at this point I'm having like super high hopes. I'm like, this is going to go so well. I'm so excited. Like we're doing exercises that I don't hate. Like I don't see a lunge on this board. Like this is perfect. Um, and so then we transition over to, um, the tread side and we're doing like 90 seconds of running at an incline. And I was like, okay, this is not bad. This is a little bit challenging, but like overall it's not bad. And so we did like three sets of those and then you go back over to the rower. Okay. So we get back over to the rower or whatever. He's like, we're going to row a thousand meters. Okay. In my mind, I'm thinking, okay, no big deal. Like we do that all the time. That's like nothing, you know, too crazy. So we're doing that and every 30 seconds you have to get off the rower and you have to stand next to your rower and you have to do 12 like sideline jumps. That's when you're like jumping side to side, whatever. So we start doing that. Y'all, my heart rate is not coming out of the 180s. Like it is still sustained 183 since I got off the treadmill. And I'm like, bro, I feel like I cannot catch my breath right now. Like I'm literally sitting down on the rower. Like why is my heart rate still so freaking hot? So anyway, after doing that, I ended up making it through like the 1000 meters and doing like the little 12 side steps, whatever, whatever. So I finished doing that and I have to go back over to the tread. Go back over to the tread. He's increasing the incline. We're increasing the speed. I'm like, oh my gosh. So we get off that. We go to the weight floor. The weight floor, nothing but lunges. Nothing but lunges, y'all. I'm like, oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. Heart rate's still in the red zone. St I haven't touched green since I walked in the door, right? So I'm like, bro, I am out of breath. Like, I can't even give these exercises 110% because I feel like I'm not having, like, an active recovery moment, right? So anyway, he was like, okay, back to the treads. And he was like, the incline is 15. You want me to run in a 15 incline? I didn't do 15. You could do from, like, 2 to 15. So, like, you could pretty much like do whatever you want. And if you wanted to walk it, you could also walk. Like, I don't want this to discourage y'all from going to Orange Theory. I'm just, you know, giving you my honest experience. But anyway, so I do eight and I'm just like, <laughs> just like crying in the corner because I'm just so 
freaking tired and I was just so ready for it to be over. Um, and what I think, like whenever I have um, one of Coach Nathan's classes, I'm like, he cannot torture me forever. This cannot go on forever. At some point, this class is going to end and everything is going to be okay. I just literally have to make it through these next 10 minutes, these next 15 minutes, these next 25 minutes, whatever. And then the class was over and I like, I was starting to see spots. I was like, dude, I pushed it to the limit today, like for real. And I'm proud of myself. Uh, with my new workout split, I only go to Orange Theory two times a week instead of trying to go three times a week. Um, and I feel like that just does a lot better for me because Orange Theory is really good about helping me to get some good cardio in and not having to worry about doing it like at the gym and taking away time and energy from my lifts. So I definitely think this new split is working really well for me and I'm excited that you know, I've started it. Um, I've lost one pound this week. I don't know if, you know, any of y'all care about that, but I did lose one pound this week and I know it's like, you know, only one pound, but it's one pound in the right direction and I'm really proud of that. And I'm excited to see where this continuation of my fitness journey is going to take me because I've been working really hard this week and it's really nice to be able to feel rewarded from it. And I feel like one thing that I'm doing differently with my fitness journey this time, because last time I, I was like eating, but I was still hungry like i definitely feel like i wasn't eating as much as i was supposed to be oh my mama just called me what's up how does it feel to be free free from what oh from school i was like free what are you talking about it feels so good i'm so happy i had a 72 on like one of my quiz grades because i missed the quiz and she let me make it up i was like bookie you're so sweet so it brought my grade up from like a 72 to like a 94. I was like, you were so sweet because you really could have just said, forget me. But she let me make it up, which was so nice. So now I just have to study for my NCLEX, unfortunately, and see where we go with that. Which I feel like it should be fine. No, they come on Saturday. And then my honor courts come on Sunday. So I'm gonna take my pictures on Sunday. Not you graduating from nursing school with honors. Yeah. Girl, who's your mama? Right. Or your daddy. <laughs> but yeah. Daddy? Yeah, I texted him back. And I just don't, that's why I don't text him just because, like, he'll say something about me and then he'll talk about you for the rest of the day. And I love you, mom, but I don't want to talk about you all the time. Like, I don't want him to talk about me. Like, I don't care. I don't care. We're just. Uh, he at the Rick. He, he did what? At the Rick. Playing basketball. He at the Rick. What? He at the Rick. What'd you think I said? I thought you said he had a rig. Oh no. We did get pulled over the other day because I guess his headlight was out. And so he got, I think the police officer called it a fix it ticket. And so they gave him a ticket and he just had to go and he get- He just got to show that he got the headlight fixed. Yeah. Did he get it fixed? Yeah, he did. And he took it up there the next day. He said it was real easy. But I had never heard of that. A fix it ticket? Oh, well, well that was Yeah, nice. they used to do that for insurance. Like if you get pulled over, you didn't have insurance, but you just told them like you didn't have it in the car. Yeah. They used to take it to the police precinct the next door within a certain amount of time, three days or something like that. Oh. Well, that's nice. But yeah. Granted, they don't have to do that. He was probably being a little lenient, probably. Yeah, he was real nice. Apparently, I don't know why I thought there were only three people that were black that were graduating, but apparently it's six of us. Oh, but that's all that's coming from there right which is kind of sad because there's so many of us and for only six of us to be black and there's no black men like at all well you know black nurses me and male nurses anyway is you know that's far yeah but there's a lot of boys in our cohort which i wasn't expecting but there's a lot of them that's good we need some male nurses some screw yeah but apparently they took like a big class picture yesterday. Girl, I ran out that building so fast. I ain't see zero class picture. I went there for Why no flick. First of all, my, I don't like And no, I was gone. I was gone. I saw them posing, but I was like, and I'm not going to be sad. I'm going to be so happy. I'd be like, oh. It's over. No more tears. No, it's still, it's, it, no, no, no. It's still going to be tears. Not for that. Not because you got to make a quiz with 76 million <laughs> questions on it not because of that no definitely not because of that not because you got to pass a what's the name of the test you used to have to take every two weeks oh the ATIs yeah no more ATIs or whatever it's called yeah no more ATIs thank the lord but apparently for graduation setup I'm like one of the first people that goes like I think because it's by alphabet and I'm an H so I'm towards the front to my age on graduation day yeah maybe now we'll get ready I'm glad you go first. Go ahead and put me out here now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah, 
let me go ahead and get my flash mold and consider the drop from the city. They just got to me out here. Right. So sorry for whoever come behind. I know, and she's so sweet. To their family because she's so sweet, and I've never met her before. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, Aw. oh, poor little Please. boogie. Then I just go to the end of the line, ask them can she go again. Right? Can she try again? <laughs> And it's the tell her to go to the end of the line until she's going to Yeah. She missed her turn. Indeed. I was telling Justin, I was like, it don't feel real. Like, I feel like I still have to go to school in January and I still need to, like, sign up for my classes, but I don't. And that's so they crazy. Got you, but they'll show sure take you back. Get some more of your money if you want to go for something else. That's for sure. And they won't. I think it really hit me whenever we got our class portraits yesterday. I don't think I showed you, huh? Let me go get them. First of all, Jay, you ain't took one graduation picture and your graduation is in 30 seconds. Mom, what you want to do? Um, on Saturday. I need you to edit that announcement just as fast as you do them YouTube vlogs. Mom. Or that videos or whatever. It's going to be okay. They don't need an advance notice. One. Why? You're just sitting here. What you need it for? You ran my blood pressure for the day back. <laughs> okay, bye. My mom is like so not it being 614 and me bumping my gums and it's 614. I'm literally not gonna have enough time to go and get food. So Justin's gonna have to go and get me food. Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, my mom is like so stressed out about me like going ahead and taking my graduation photos, but girly, the dress don't get here until Sunday or Saturday. Um, but it's okay. It's gonna be alright. Um, I don't know why she wants the announcement so fast. She must be trying to make like a sign or something. A sign, a balloon. And when my mom, like, my mom is serious. Like, if she tells you that she's going to bring a mariachi band to graduation, she means that. So when you see a mariachi band and you hear the music outside, don't act like you don't know where it came from. Because it came from Gwen. <laughs> it did. But I, like I was telling my mom, I feel like there's always going to be like a next semester. There's always going to be more stuff that I have to do. There's always going to be another level that I have to reach. But it's not. Like, it is done like it is it is literally finished and like i was telling her like when we finally got like our official portraits of school i think that's when it hit me and it was like whoa like for real for real you're about to graduate like for real for real this is about to be over and you're about to go into the world and you're going to be a nurse and you're going to be great and yes there are going to be super hard times where you feel like it's not worth it or you want to give up or blah 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 but you can and all you have to do is persevere all you have to do is just continue to give your best give your patience your best and just keep going but it's oh god it's crazy like I'm gonna be a nurse like eventually when I'm doing these vlogs it's not going to be a week in the life of a nursing student it's going to be a week in the life of a nurse how I, I just I'm not gonna say how did we get to this point because I know how we got to this point because of all the blood sweat and tears that I've given to it but how did we get to this point I just I don't know I'm just flabbergasted really but I'm really excited and I'm, I'm really happy to be able to bring y'all along and for y'all to just see this amazing life that I'm living and I know this sounds so corny and lame and you're probably like Jay you're being so sentimental this week like what is going on this is so not like you but I'm just proud I'm just proud and I feel like anybody that has gone through a rigorous nursing program it ain't even got to be like it, all nursing programs are rigorous I don't care where you go I don't care if you go to a community college or you go to a D1 university nursing is hard because at the end of the day boo whether you went to the University of Alabama or you went to your local community college and got your ADN nursing school is hard we all take the same in clicks. We all take the same test. We're all expected to know the same knowledge for our scope of practice. And like you either know it or you don't, right? So I'm never gonna trash talk anybody they got ADN, anybody that went to a community college. I don't care where you went. As long as you you graduated, you got that ADN, you got that BSM, and you pass that in class girl, you're a nurse. And that's all anybody ever needs to know about you. Like never ever ever trash talk anybody based off what level of nursing degree they have first of all that's just trashy it's trashy and it's lame and it's rude and it's not very cute it is what it is y'all look how long my hair is getting <laughs> i'm so excited i feel like this is gonna be a really good wash and go um i'm pretty sure we're not gonna do it how did my part just immediately repart how did we get here what in the you know what you know what i'm just gonna leave it i'm just gonna leave it it's just gonna be it's just <sighs> like i'm not playing with my hair today i'm not in the mood I'm not in the mood to play but anyway um i think justin is gonna have to bring me food tonight just because i'm not gonna have time i'm not gonna have time but that's okay i'm sure he won't mind bringing me food because i'm pretty sure he's gonna want food also 
So um, that'll be one less thing that we have to do. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and go to work. I will see y'all in the morning. Okay, so we got new like work sweatshirts last night. They have the hospital name right here and then they have labor delivery on it, which I think is really cute. Um, anyway, it's not very convenient for me to wear this jacket in videos because I have to cover it up. But anyway, um, went to work last night, had one of my first deliveries in months because I've been like going to work kind of on and get off again. So I'm gonna start being a lot more on again just because I need to prep to, you know, actually be a nurse at this hospital. Um, but anyway, it was a really good night. A lot of my friends were there, so that was fun. Um, and a, like, somebody asked me, they were like, oh, like is so-and-so here? Because like, they're my cousin. And like from their Snapchat story, it looks like they're here. Like, can you tell me if they're here or not? And I was like, legally, I will go to jail if I let you know if somebody is here or not. So if you call them and they answer and they tell you that they're here, that's a different story. But like, I can't just, like, I can't just tell you. So then I went to into a patient's room and they were stayed, like, the person I just talked to was standing outside the door. And I was like, oh. This is so awkward. But like I legally can't tell you like if a patient is here or not because number one, that's a HIPAA violation and number two, that's a safety violation. Like I don't know you, like you could be a stalker or like I don't know. Um, it turned out to be literally her, her, you know, cousin, but whatever. Anyway, um, overall the shift was really, really good. Um, I got to study some for the NCLEX and I think the last grade that I made was an 85. I was making 64s consistently and the stuff that I was missing again was stuff that I'd never seen, never heard. Um, so I usually try to give myself a lot of grace when it comes to stuff like that because I obviously can't know something that I've never been taught, right? Um, but yeah, overall the shift was really, really good. Um, it's very dark and gloomy today, which it's perfect because I'm literally going to be sleeping. Um, and I've already finished my two days of Orange Theory. So for my new like workout split, I do three days of heavy lifting, two days of um, Orange Theory, and then the other two days are my rest day. So now we're into my rest day phase and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling really good, feeling very happy, feeling very accomplished. Jojo has so much energy today. Like when I came to the door this morning, I got body chick. Like usually he'll look and like he'll wag his tail and like he'll jump a little bit. But today like he was leaping. He was sleeping, so I was like, Justin, just go ahead and take him to daycare. We will get his little immune support gummies, whatever. Like, it'll be fine. So, Justin is taking him to daycare right now. I went to Chick-fil-A this morning, and Chick-fil-A was just, like, not on their P's and Q's this morning. Like, Justin's chicken mini, so he doesn't know this yet, but they're, like, kind of burnt. Like, they're not burnt, but they're kind of, like, a little darker brown than what they usually are, and they forgot our hash browns. And I'm, like, never a person that checks the bag, like, whenever I leave a restaurant. Like, some people will check the bag at the window. Like, they're not even driving off until they check the bag. I'm not that kind of person. But today I was like, you know what, let me just like pull up a little bit and check the bag. And two of our hash browns were missing. And Justin like specifically requested, like he really, really wanted some hash browns. So I would have been really upset if I came home and found out that we did not have those. So I had to turn around and get those. Uh, but now I'm about to get in the shower. Um, and it's going to be a good shower. I can already tell. Um, and yeah, I will see y'all when I get up in the morning. Because I feel like I still have a lot of girl talk left in me. So I'll have some girl talk whenever I get up. Okay, I wanted to talk to y'all about something because usually every year it typically bothers me a lot and I just, I just need to talk about it because now it's better. So every year, usually around graduation time, I would become so outrageously upset and I'm talking about I would cry and cry and cry and I would lock myself in my room and I wouldn't go anywhere like I would not even go outside because obviously I go to the University of Alabama this is a D1 university people are proud people are so proud to go here and so like when you go outside during graduation season like you'll see people in the streets like taking cute pictures um by um what is that called i'm going like by daily chimes by the president's mansion like you can't go anywhere on campus without seeing so many people taking their graduation pictures so let me do a little bit of a backstory so you can understand why this bothered me so much so when i was five years old i wanted to be a lawyer doctor astronaut in space and i was so serious about that like i used to like make up cases and present them to my dad and i would do like both the defending and the prosecuting side and i would sit there and i would talk for hours and god love him he would just sit there and listen he would sit there and listen and he would provide feedback and like all this other stuff so i wanted to be a doctor lawyer astronaut in space because number one I wanted to be an astronaut because I thought that Mae Jameson was the coolest person in the entire world until I saw that not saw the video but until I watched like the whatever the news interview thing was about that teacher that went up to space and her class was watching her um and then the rocket ship exploded I was like no good on space good on space but anyway um 
But yeah, I wanted to be a an astronaut because I thought that was really cool. And then I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to deliver babies. Um, and then I also wanted to be able to defend myself, you know, in case anything went wrong. Because of course, like, we're in space. Like, you know, this is unprecedented, right? Anyway, got out the lawyer, Dr. Astronaut, in the space train when I was about seven. And I said that I wanted to deliver babies. I've always, 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 always wanted to deliver babies. It's always been what I wanted to do. Um, and I felt that way, like from the age of seven all the way up until when I was in college, I was like, I want to be an OBGYN and I want to open my own practice. Those who are, you know, in need, like whether that be like a nonprofit, you know, whatever, whatever, like that's what I wanted to do. So I came to the University of Alabama. This was the only school that I ever applied for because I knew in my heart that this is where I wanted to go and I knew in my heart that this is where I wanted to be. And even if like I've experienced obstacles here and you know, I've had some things happen, I still don't regret coming here i don't always like it i feel like you're not always gonna like your school that you're at um but i definitely do feel like this is exactly where i was supposed to be because i have grown so much at this school but anyway so i started college in the fall of 2018 i was currently majoring in pre-medical biology and everything was going great i did it for like two and a half years and of course it was hard but when i got to my sophomore year i was crying my eyes out every single day like it was uncontrollable I would, you know, go through the day and I would smile at everybody's face and I'd be like, you know, yeah, life is great, like everything's so fun. And I would come home and I would violently sob. I was so unhappy. I felt so dumb. But y'all listen to the classes that I was taking as a little 19 year old girl, right? I was taking calculus. I was taking physics. I was taking ecology and evolution. I was taking organic chemistry. I was taking some English class and I was taking a history class. When I tell you I felt like my brain was exploding, it felt like my brain was on fire every single day. My class schedule was ridiculous, and you're probably thinking, Jayana, why on earth would you even do that? In the first place, it was not my choice, right? It was not my choice. My advisor told me that I was not going to be a competitive candidate to get into medical school if my course schedule did not look like this. Obviously, I'm not an advisor for the College of Arts and Sciences. I have no idea what makes me a competitive candidate to get into nurse, not nursing school, Lord, to get into medical school. I have no idea. So, of course, I listen to them and I'm going through all these classes and I am doing horribly because, again, my brain is on fire. Okay? What happens? My grades are tanking. All, like, I, they are unsalvageable. And I am somebody, like, girl, straight A's. Straight A's through, like, I almost fell to third grade because, again, I told you, like, my, my friend, Elena, was literally teaching the class. Girl, you're eight. So, I almost fell to third grade, got my stuff together, fourth grade on up, like, all the way through high school, straight A student. You can ask anybody. Like, school became my thing after third grade. And so, to get in college, and I'm like, bro, I feel like the biggest idiot on the face of the earth like what is happening like why can i just not get it together ended up tanking my gpa and i was like oh my god this is horrible this is horrible so i was like i feel like i am meeting so much resistance because this is not the path that i'm supposed to be on so my best friend i was gonna say my best friend at the time my best friend for life napoleon she was nursing she was always nursing and i was like napoleon i am just feeling led to be a nurse like i want to be a nurse so bad like i am just not even interested in being a doctor anymore because it's just not enough hands-on patient care for me like i need more i need more and she was like jay literally just apply to nursing like what are we doing all this hoorah for like just apply to nursing i was like i don't even think that they're gonna accept me she's like they're going to accept you just apply so on november the 4th i put in my application for nursing and i think on like no on November the 4th, I went to the advising office because I had gotten accepted into nursing school. They went through my whole like pre-nursing, lower division nursing stuff. So, like in our school, like at our school, you do lower division and you do upper division. Lower division, you're doing your freshman and sophomore year. Upper division, you're doing your junior and senior year. And your upper division is like you actually in like nursing school, right? So thankfully, since I had already had a background that was super heavy in science, I had taken a lot of the classes that I needed. I think I just needed to take like a nursing oriented organic chemistry class because usually if you're um, in lower division nursing, you're gonna only going to take classes with people that are also in lower division nursing. So I had to retake just a few classes. I think it took like maybe one semester and then the pandemic hit and I was like, oh. But the pandemic hit during like when I was taking those um, like those last few little pre-nursing classes and I was also having to sit for the T's and the T's is a standardized test that a lot of schools use to like determine if you're good enough to get into nursing school. Made a proficient score, got into nursing school and I started nursing school in August of 2021. Now in August of 2021, I think I was 20, 21 about to turn 22, I think. 
right? So naturally, everybody in my cohort, because you go like by groups, I was in the fall cohort because I started in August. Um, everybody in my cohort is like 19. 19 and I'm 21. 21 about to be 22, right? And so automatically, like I'm feeling so much older. And of course, like I have braces and I keep to myself. So obviously nobody knows that I'm any older, you know, than anybody else. Like it's fine. But it became harder like third semester when the people who like had I started college and started with nursing those are the people that I would have been graduating with like graduating at 21 22 years old like that was supposed to be me and it wasn't and so I would go outside and I would see all these people that I was supposed to be graduating with and I would cry and I was like I am so behind in my life I'm so behind and I'm so angry that I held on to pre-med for so long even though I knew that it wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. I knew that it wasn't making me happy and I I messed up. Like I messed up and it's so hard. Like it's so hard to see other people living the life that you want to have. It is. Like I don't care who you are. It's hard to see other people living the life that you want to have. And so to see people like, oh my gosh. And if their family was there, oh, oh my gosh. Because if y'all know my family like the summer after i finished my freshman year that june my family moved to seattle so it wasn't like oh let me just drive down to mobile for the weekend and go and see my mom my mom's not here right like my mom is over 2,000 miles away and at the time a state i had never been like my mom is not here like i can't just run and call my mom and i remember oh my gosh like the feelings are hitting me like a wave I remember when my mom told me that they were moving to Seattle when I tell you it felt like my heart was breaking into a million pieces like I felt like I was losing my mom in real time like I felt like my mom was like breaking up with me or something it was so horrible and I was I remember saying to her I was like who's gonna be my mom like like what's like what's gonna happen to me and she was like um she was like mom is still there like her my grandma she was like she's still there like if you need her she is the closest person to you like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay and now like it's literally the best thing that could have ever happened to us was moving but anyway um so it was just really hard for me to see people that like i was supposed to be graduating with and their families and also i was an orientation leader so to see the people that i oriented into college posting their like graduation pictures and i still had time left in nursing school that was like a knife to the gut it was so hard it was so hard um but it feels good that now it's my turn and justin would always tell me my mom would always tell me it's gonna be your turn it is going to be your turn but nursing school is so long and you get such a warped sense of time that you feel like i'm i'm never gonna get a turn like nursing school is so long and it's never ending and i don't understand like why we have to do blah 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 but now it is it's finally my turn it's finally my turn and it just feels so good it feels so good to finally have a turn so whatever stage of life you're in just know that you are living an unanswered prayer whether it's yours whether it's somebody else's i'm about to sneeze <laughs> sorry whether it's yours whether it's somebody else's whether it's a prayer that you didn't even know that you prayed you are living an unanswered prayer and sometimes you have to just take a step back look at that and just be like life is good you know but yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and get my cap account today if they're open guys i hope that y'all have enjoyed this week's vlog i will see y'all in the next one for all the graduation pictures and all the pomp and circumstance be kind to yourselves be kind to others i love you